Right then, getting further away from Roborough. Over there, I wonder how those people are getting on climbing up. No idea, I won't know. Somebody might help them, get them, guide them through the row barrow for <laughs> Arable land here, which you often get cows in. I've just seen somebody in red and yellow. I don't know if it could have been a biker. I mean, if they have to carry their bike, if they get a puncher or... He seemed to be going slow and then he, he sort of speeded up again. He's moved on a bit now, and we're moving on a bit. What I remember about this stretch, it didn't really take me long to get to the end before I have to go up to get the track, either for Longwood or Velvet Bottom. So. There is some cooler areas which I might enter into for a little while because it is very hot out here. Now I must have been catching him up so maybe he's just had a rest um, in the cool here. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get in the cool for a bit. It's what you've got to do. I don't know how brambly it'll get though, but I might be able to possibly follow it and stay in the shade. I might be able to. But if it peters out, I'll have to get back on the main track. I've done this before. I've walked in the shade like this. The main track's just over the other side of those bushes there. It depends if it gets very stinging nettly and brambly. If I, I have trouble getting back over there. But for now, it seems a sensible thing to do. Cows do come here, by the way. Evidence of old cow pack here. Not today. Turning off again, just to show you that I'm exploring, taking care, and there is somebody ahead of me. And like I said, it could possibly be a biker who's got a broken bike, but he might not be, he might just be a hiker. I'm just going to carry on a bit further in the shade, because it does make sense. Lovely view over there to the Rober or Warren though. Right over there, look. Right over there. Moving away more and more. We walked round a bit of it earlier when we were making our way up from Dolbury Warren. Come on, take a picture. Right, walking, carrying on walking. A little bit more of this walk. This section of the walk will be over in a minute. 
and that's all the air of outstanding beauty and it goes up and up and up to the trig point in a minute not far now we'll be coming to another junction with signposts and uh, you can turn left go for a stile or a gate get onto a very dangerous road but you haven't got to go far and you can climb up to get on the Burrington Coombe side of the road and then walk along there but it is a very very dangerous road that one um, there is car parking further up here for people um, or, so that's if you go left there's also some, uh, some other routes I, I have done, I'm not doing them today, where I cross country and I'll climb over gates and get on little pathways and weave my way through fields and stuff. I'm not doing that today. It's all it's different when I had Alberta. There was no time limit. You just done it. And it didn't know it didn't matter how long you took. You never had to think of time. But it's, uh, <sighs> you can't afford to miss the last bus. There's no train, there's nothing. <laughs> so. <sighs> oh. And of course, once we get to this junction point, I've got to turn, not the first right, I go right to the edge and skirt up. And I think there's some shrubs, if you need shelter, can't remember. Um, because there's going to be a lot of time when there aren't any. So I've been keeping cool as long as I can. Any minute now, we should come to the junction point. It's down around this corner. We should be able to see obviously fields. The area of outstanding beauty comes to an end. And um, yeah, it's a nice, lovely hot day. It's warming the bones. I haven't brought a jumper. I didn't bring the scarf. The only thing I brought, which I always do because it's like a part of first aid, it's very light. Not my ultra light one. I've got a very light wind and showerproof coat. It's very light and I've packed it in the bag because you should always have that something. Obviously, if you're going out for a two hour walk to the hill and back, you don't have to take nothing but a bottle of water, do you? Right. Okay. This, I'm that, that's very bumpy. I'm going to go on this higher route because it still leads to the same place. Very bumpy there. But we're coming to it now. And in a minute, I'll have to veer off up. I've just spot spotted somebody in with a white top on. Oh, blue. Some hikers. They're going straight up. That means they're going to head for the trip point. I'm not doing that. Now the man's got the big rucksack. I don't know if the woman's hardly got anything. And she might have a very, very small bag. But he's carrying all the stuff. And the woman follows behind the man. Still up, as you know. It's good in a way that they carry it all, isn't it? Doesn't mean she can't. She's, she's a bit rough letting him carry it. He's got his pacing off. Right, so let's look back again. 
there's another route track that will take you up and you can follow that one as well I've done I've done that as well I've done I've done most of the tracks no she hasn't got anything he's carrying it all but I'm not I'm not going on their route I could probably deviate over um, now rather than go down to the post um, but I've decided they've got a little dog with them as well I can't fancy bringing the dog out in this heat I think that's wrong really I know I don't and I think even sheep dogs are kept home when it's hot I can't get over how people do that anyway we're going down to the um signpost and um down this way I'm going to turn off now folks they've stopped and are uh, sort of staring at me as if they're lost I keep meeting lost people and what I used to do I used to ask people I wasn't always lost but I would always confirm my route and not most of the time I met people didn't know where didn't know it everyone's out doing ad lib Now, I'll, I'll just keep running. There is a little lower track if you wanted to go through the shaded area down there. And you, it, you might be able to hear cars. I don't know if you can. Um, you might be able to hear cars. So here's a route. Now I'm going up that small thin track there. They've already sat down halfway up. They're probably thinking I'm coming up there. Well, I ain't. Right, over and out for now. The other gate is down that way, and I've been over that gate before, across the field and onto another track that goes up that way. Right, right folks, charger on, no charger on, there's the aerials, the Mendip aerials, overlooking Velvet Bottom and all that and right over to Long Sheep Field, right over to Piney Slights, you can see them for miles. That's where we're supposed to be heading. We've finished doing the hills for a while now. There are ways straight across. I've done a bit of it before. You just get over that fence, get over that one, get in over there. But I don't feel like doing it today. 
I just don't. Uh, so I, I'm just keeping to the usual track. I do this in reverse, by the way, as well. Uh, I'll walk the other way, you know, I'll come from Cheddar. Sometimes I only do a circular and back to Cheddar, though. You know what I mean? I've got all these big spider webs. They're busy catching different insects. Really big webs there. Look at that field over there, doesn't it look shaped and sculptured, look. How the farmers cut it like that. Yeah, you've got to watch they don't catch you, those uh, catching spiders. I should imagine those people got up that hill, they must be nearly at the pub by now. It's quite a way to that pub though. So it's not, it was too hard for me to give them directions. I just tell them to give, go where they joined. That's the only way I could tell them. Because you, you can get lost in there, Warren, so easily. And in the end, you just end up going up and down hills, getting lost, not where you are. Very soon we'll be at the gate where we turn down the track towards the aerials or we go across the fields and towards Longwood. So the only thing that stops me doing it, it's not because I can't do it. It is literally time. But I want to do it really. I actually want to go past them. You know what I mean? I want to do it. But I can't afford to miss. They have the, do you know what? Why don't they put later buses on in the summer? When there's visitors there. If they had buses later, I'm sure people would come out have meals, have a few drinks. What's happening? Nobody bothers. Cheddar becomes dead at half past four because they shut everything. Apart from the chip shop. I know. They did try it once. There was a late bus once. It was brilliant. It really was. It just gave you that freedom to do a bit more and not worry. Yeah. Well, this is the area of outstanding natural beauty everyone. The trick point to be over there somewhere. Those people I saw struggling are probably on their way to that now, if not sat on it. I'm still making my way down to the gate. Over and out.